In this video I'm going to show you uh, how to use the equation to create a, an assignment for uploading into D2L. So we open up Word and uh, once you've uh, installed your um, equation editor, now Word uh, 2007 uh, for Windows uh, comes with an equation editor and a grapher. Uh, I, I suppose that uh, 2010 does as well. Uh, if you're using a Macintosh, uh, Word um, uh, comes with a, an equation editor for 2011 um, version of Word for Mac, but Mac also has a grapher which is in the utility folder. Now a grapher and, a, and an equation editor are, are different, okay? So uh, don't try and graph with the equation editor unless you have uh, Word for uh, Windows uh, with the equation editor because that will allow some graphing as well. But it's not particularly user friendly and you have to learn how to use it. I'm using MathType which works seamlessly with um, Word and you can download uh, MathType um, from the website that's shown in D2L um, for free. And uh, I'll give you that um, particular website. And the website for uh, getting a free copy, a 30 day um, um, a trial. Uh, so there's a 30 day trial. All right, and uh, after the 30 days, uh, you don't have to purchase it, uh, it reverts to a, a light version, which is still quite sufficient for your, uh, um, for your purposes. So you don't have to buy it, okay? So how do we use uh, the equation editor? And I'm using uh, math type here, which is the, uh, I'm actually on a 30 day uh, uh, version right now. All right, I'm using a Mac, all right, but it should work exactly the same. Notice we have the window open and you have your uh, toolbars here for, for Word. All right, so you, to begin your assignment, you start with, uh, all right, let's write the question down, all right, so let's, uh, for each, no, I haven't even started using the equation editor. You don't use it until you really have to. All right, for each uh, of uh, the functions, all right, um, let's suppose we have uh, f of x equals, notice I haven't even used the equation editor for this, you could if you wanted to. Uh, let's make it uh, f of x uh, equals um, uh, 1 minus x squared, all right, and uh, g of x, uh, well, let's just do it. Uh, let's do it for this one. So I'm just going to italicize it. It's not absolutely necessary, but I'm just going to do it just uh, so it looks a little better. Now notice um, here, all right, we have uh, exponents here and subscripts. So just click there and you've got the exponent, okay? So notice I haven't yet even used the uh, equation editor, all right? Uh, so let's do for the function f of x is equal to this find, all right? Uh, let's have a look, uh, let's do f of x plus h. All right, um, so that's part A, say. All right, I'm gonna italicize it just so it's neat. Uh, again, you don't have to do that. All right, and, uh, and uh, B. Uh, let's do, um, and I can copy and paste this, let's suppose we make f of x uh, minus f of x. And I can copy and paste that too, actually. So get used to using copy and paste. It makes things a lot easier. All right, so uh, we want to find that one. Okay, then find, okay, now here's the here's the big one, all right. So do an extra space here. Notice I haven't used the the uh, the uh, equation editor yet, but now I am because I need to use a quotient. All right. So up here I have notice it looks like um, uh, 
a little calculator thing with plus equals uh, minus and plus and it says in, insert equation. So when I click on that it brings up this particular window. This is the math type window as you can see here. You can see I'm on the free uh, evaluation 26 days. Alright and uh, so I'm going to use a quotient. So notice here we have quick ones right, right here. So if I click that, click that one all right, we have a quotient. I'm going to have f of x uh, plus h uh, minus f of x. Okay, and uh, we're going to divide that by h. When I click there, you end up with this little dialog box comes up here, and I just say yes. And notice it goes seamlessly uh, right into the document right there. Right, I'm still now. I'm in Word still. All right, so. Let's go across here and we look, look at the solution. All right. All right, now this is where we're going to have to use the equation editor a little more. I can copy and paste this. That's easy enough to do. And open it up. So I end up with this now. This is equal to then. Now we have to put in our functions. All right, so our functions here are. So we need the quotient again. So it's 1 minus, in this case it's x plus h, and of course we're squaring that, so I click that one for the sub, uh, superscript, and then it's minus, uh, minus f of x, so minus, uh, and I'll use a, a um, parenthesis, 1 minus x squared. like so, and it's all over H. All right, so uh, notice that that's what we have so far. And of course, we could equal this now. I can copy and paste this now just to save a bit of time. And uh, we go here and we're gonna expand this out by foiling it. So this will be a, uh, let's put it in here first. So it'll be X squared uh, plus two X H uh, plus h squared, so we can get rid of that, and it's just h squared. Then we have a minus 1 and a plus x squared here, just following your algebra through, and we end up with this. And of course we need that one there. Right, now I'm going to uh, hit the little off button up here. Again, I get this dialog box, I go yes. So notice this is where I am so far. All right, now to make this easier, I'm just going to copy, uh, control C for me, and then copy, uh, let's make it in the middle, and paste. So what I'm looking at doing is, let's get rid of all this to start with. So I'm equaling now, this will be a negative here. This will be a negative here. This will be a negative here. And we have this. All right, now you notice that uh, 1 minus 1 is 0. So if I now uh, just copy and paste this, Notice that the 1's go away and the x squared's go. I've got 1 minus x squared and I've got minus 1 plus x squared, so I can get rid of this. And I end up with this. And of course, I can take out a common factor now. If I copy and paste this again, uh, and we'll take out a common factor here. Like so, and now we can divide through by that common factor, and my result is this. And there we've uh, hit this one here again, so we can go and says, do you want to save it? Yes, and there's our result. Right, and then of course we just go on to the next question. Okay, number two. All right, and let's suppose that we want to uh, <clears throat> see if we can find another kind of uh, question. Uh, let's suppose we want to uh, graph um, uh, this graph, uh, and I'm going to use the equation editor here. So I'm going to graph uh, y equals negative 2, and let's go uh, x minus 1, uh, oops. Uh, x minus 1 
and I'm going to square that and let's suppose we add three. All right, again we click this one. Do we want to save changes? Yes, there it is. All right, now let's suppose we want to use the grapher. Now it's not too hard for us, uh, for me to use the grapher here, but uh, if you want to get a graphing uh, utility, there's a couple of things here. So let me write up here for Windows. Uh, you can use uh, www.graphcalc.com. Uh, All right, that would be uh, a place to uh, get a grapher. All right, that's for Windows. Uh, for Mac, uh, for Mac, you have a uh, grapher in the uh, utilities uh, folder. Okay. Right, so if I open the Utilities folder, uh, under Applications, and we go down here, Utilities, and we go Grapher. Here we are, Grapher right here. All right, so you get this little dialog box here. All right, 2D Graph, yes, that's what I want. Choose it. Okay, now I get this one here. All right, and we want to now up here, of course, here's our negative two. All right, and we have x minus one. Okay, and I'm going to highlight that and come across here. Notice this little one over here we have like so. Oh, that wasn't very good, was it? So we have x minus one, like so. There it is. And then plus three. And then you click it in there, and bingo, there's your picture. Okay. And there's your graph. Now, what you can do with this is um, go copy as a TIFF file, and then go back to here and go insert or Control V, and there it is. There you can change the size of size of it like so, and uh, there we have a picture of our graph. And that's how we've inserted a graph. So notice that we have uh, used the equation editor here. We haven't used it anywhere here. We've used it here when we needed to, haven't used it here. We've used it here and here. We haven't used it uh, here, but we did use it here. And there's how we graph. Right, so that's a quick um, rundown on how to use the equation editor. Now for exponents and uh, subscripts, remember we have this on the menu in both Windows and Mac version of um, Microsoft Word. So remember, use the equation editor sparingly. Uh, don't use these carrot things. Don't go doing this kind of thing, X, uh, like this. Meaning, I mean, that's for computer people, all right? Because I don't know any, anything else, all right? But that's not what we do, all right? What we do is we can do that, and then when we put the two there, we can just change it to a superscript, and there we've got our X squared, okay? All right, so that's how we use the equation editor. That's how you can uh, use a grapher to insert into your document. And make sure you save the document as the assignment and uh, your name according to the instructions you're given for submitting and then upload it into the uh, Dropbox.